Alaska. We are a family of six living on 160 acres here in Alaska. We have carved out a homestead from scratch out of nothing. We bought 160 acres. It had nothing but trees on it. We have built a cabin. We're creating a homestead. We've cleared five acres. And another great thing is every Wednesday we and another great thing is every Wednesday we have our subscriber appreciation day where we will call out your name if you are a new subscriber and you subscribe publicly. So feel free to subscribe if you like this video and let's get started. So now we're going to introduce the family so you guys can learn the names of our family members if you are new to this channel. Oh, really? <laughs> Lily. Zoe. Lily. I am Sarah. Jeff. Dad. Jeff. Hudson. No, Hudson. no it's Hudson. Brady, what? And this guy's Brady. Brady. This is Brady. What? Brady. What? You know the sixteen thing. You know. Yes. You know, sixteen yes. going on twenty-two. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's... So in this video, we thought we would share with our viewers our 2024 goals on our homestead here and let you know some of the important things we hope to get done this year. And um, <clears throat> and as the video progresses, we'll show you some of the chores we're doing later in the day. So what are we planning on getting done this year? Like five Siding minutes. on the inside of the cabin. Siding on the outside of the cabin. Build a small machine shed, um, start up a landscape uh, yard maintenance business to go in hand in hand with our uh, snow removal business, snow in the winter time, yards in the summer. <clears throat> um, expand our garden. Mm -hmm. We're trying to do one, you know, one half acre of potatoes. Yep. Um, Grow more tomatoes in the hot house. Um, let's see here. Well, and so to do the siting that we need to do and build our machine shop, we must get the mill up and running first. So that's the big deal to get up and running as well that will let our other things get done. So in the greenhouse, we are hoping to grow some beets, carrots, and definitely lettuce because lettuce grew really well there. <clears throat> um, tomatoes. Definitely tomatoes. <laughs> and um, so we, this year we are going to plan on growing more food than we did last year. So this year <laughs> we have more food storage kind of going into winter because we burned through our potatoes last fall. I think we harvested three to four hundred pounds probably of potatoes yeah. and we burnt through those in like maybe two months with all the cooking we do so For three this months. fall we're hoping to go into <laughs> winter with maybe a thousand pounds of potatoes and maybe that can last us four to six months plus also do some canning on the side so we've got big plans to do a lot more food this year and we also have decided to downsize on our livestock a little bit more to allow for more time for gardening and more time for building. So we did decide to shrink down a little bit on our livestock. So it gives us a little bit more time to work on a little more freedom. vegetables and stuff, gardening. Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> Maybe some traveling around and... I would like to do some, some dip, dip netting. netting yeah, summer. dip netting and... Have a little bit, like Jeff said, a little bit more freedom to travel um, and explore a little bit because, yeah, I have an Because now we have event. viewers. So it's yeah. you guys. We're going <laughs> to. We're getting more free for, for you guys. Think of all the places we can go. <laughs> so Emma, our, our sow, we gave her away to a really good farmer out on Point McKenzie. Mm -hmm. uh, super great guy. He came out and picked her up. Um, and she actually walked from, we took her down the road uh, with our truck because we weren't sure if he could get in here with his dually. Right. So, <clears throat> long story short, we loaded her up on our trailer, took her down the road and three miles down the road and uh, brought her to his trailer, which we 
she walked right into it. She, she didn't did. even hesitate. She, she walked excited. right into it. The, the trailer was fresh straw. She smelled the other pigs. It's yeah. great. And he was happy. You know, she's going to live on and be a mom. So yep. uh, it's, it's a good story. And he offered to give us a piglet out of a litter you know, when we want. Uh, right. You know, when the time's right. So she got to live on. and. <laughs> so <laughs> that, yeah. that was nice. So yeah. it's part of we're just down downscaling a little bit from livestock again to allow for other other things we want to get done and other priorities. So we need to put more time into our home yeah. and our in our farm, and so the animals take up a lot of time they and do. a lot of the kids' time. So <clears throat> they're getting older, friends and stuff. So their their yeah. their circles getting bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is. So those yeah. are kind of just some of the rough plans that uh, our homestead has for 2024. In the meanwhile, we are going to show you guys what, in the meanwhile, we are going to, in the meantime, we're going to take you along and show you some of the projects we've got that are going, uh, I'm going to be dead. <laughs> in the meantime, come with us next so you can see what the boys and um, the Come with us next so you can see what the kids are up to as far as some chores they're working on. <laughs> and we're working on the tractor. We're, we're, what, yeah. we're diving into that too. So, so <clears throat> the tractor is like number one on the list. Yes. And, and then let's go show them now what we're doing to uh, prepare for the tractor getting worked on. And we'll talk about how Brady's building up also some of his business skills. And so, uh, yep. Yeah. It would be funny, Molly. It's not. Oh, if you just like, you're like, okay, that's good enough. Start building more. Right, and now the big old screwdriver. Dude, what a great little floor, though. Mm -hmm. You know what that is? Oh, Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. Pull the tractor up on this thing. Right. Well, there's people with the engines, and there's people that don't even touch carburetors, so it's kind of replace the engines. Yeah. Dude. Oh. Well, you can take and move that line this over to there, and then it will cover it. This one. Ooh, See what I'm saying? Hey, ma'am. Just ignore me just for intro. Meh! <laughs> just intros. Hey, guys. Can you move one? Yeah. How long is it overall now? I don't know. You got the tape. I'll need to move that wood thing and that, that blower. Okay. Well, I could back up there and then just have the... You're going to take the blower off, right? <laughs> That's the carb uh, housing. Feeds the loader. Uh, All right. This is the carb. That is the whole carb. Brady and Harley are over there working on some mechanics. They have some customer jobs to fix some snow yeah. machines. and They've got that going and then... Jeff, Lily, and Hudson over here are working on a whole other project. So we've got a couple of projects going here with the family. What's your project there, Jeffrey? Oh, we're using <laughs> some... Uh, Only Jeffrey when you're in trouble. Yeah, we're building some uh, a floor so we can pull my tractor up on it uh, and uh, get it up off the snow mm -hmm. somewhat flat. Cool. Looks somewhere, good, though. Somewhere to... Uh, to work on it and we're going to dive into the uh, four-wheel drive issue right take the blower off take the loader off get it up in the air and see what uh, what's going on with it good there's a really nice gentleman in town mm -hmm. and uh he's he offered to help us out a little bit kind of coach us through what what might be going on with it so. right 
he even said he might come up and help out. So that's that's great. We're gonna, like I said, we're making this floor here. Right. We'll pull a tarp over the top, keep the the snow and whatever mm -hmm. off it. You're kind of preparing for him to come. Yeah, yeah. We'll get the machine over here and try to troubleshoot cool. it too. Um, but this is where it'll be until it's fixed, probably. So. Yep. We need uh, it running. We need it running badly. So Bad. hopefully, hopefully Don can kind of coach us through this yeah. and see what happens. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we don't have the money. I, I, even if I had the money, I'd rather learn it, find right. the problem myself so I can fix it in the future. It's a good state to know how to do that. Yeah, you got to be self-sufficient here for sure. Hey, why is there a spark plug just sitting there? Brady. On that post. Oh, jeez. Boy, that's sticky Yeah, Brady stuff. and Harley are over there working on some snow machines. Oh, I thought you said you liked the smell of gas. No, that smells like it's like carb clean or something weird. It is. It smells well, it's good. very close to gas. It yeah. is, but it's not the same. That's hot, baby. Oh. It's hot. Did they uh, have their sandwiches there? Yeah. Did they eat their food? Yeah, no, they haven't. See, they're so distracted with their machinery. They're yep. forgetting to eat. But I guess when you're making money. Oh, you guys need to make sure you eat your food. I'm going to go in and make my uh, brownies. So just wanted to catch up. I was looking through the window and wanted to catch up what you guys are doing over here. Okay. Yeah, so three snow machines here. Right. One more to pick up. Jeez, another one? Hopefully oh, we yeah, can yeah. drop. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, sorry. Go ahead. What? Sorry. Oh, we, we have, have to Morgan's, that's all. Yeah, with Morgan's we have to pick up, right? Jeez. That's what I'm thinking about. Mm-hmm. And then we have, uh, this, I think, a snowblower to pick up. Oh, oh gosh. Four wheeler. Wow. Uh, and then, uh, hopefully on the way in uh, Friday, we can take those two red ones in. Right. Drop them off, get them out of here, and then get this one out of here. And... Right, so there's room. Yeah. Get, yeah, you know, we... So why don't you describe Brady in a quick nutshell for our new viewers who don't know what we oh, got going Brady's on here. Brady's our middle child, mm -hmm. second born. What is he, 16? Yeah. What is he? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, he's 16 years old. He's uh, a really good young mechanic. Mm -hmm. Just kind of clicks with him. Yeah. He can look at things and fix it, fix mm -hmm. them. Uh, when he was younger, he used to take apart things and not oh, yes. put them back together, but he would take them apart. Oh, yes. Uh, but now he's uh, he works at the local gas station. Mm-hmm. So he's around a lot, a lot of mechanics. Right. A lot of, you know, self-sufficient people. Mm -hmm. A lot of bush pilots. Into the, the small engine repair, mm -hmm. you know, the four-wheelers, the snow machines, the chainsaws. Right. Uh, I don't right. think he likes chainsaws as much as I would like him to like chainsaws, but that's okay. Right. right. So we'll we get, have we'll get there. people in the community, though, that are getting in touch with uh, Brady left and right, and we're picking up machines for him, and he's fixing them, and we're yeah, giving them back, back to the customers, and they're quite happy, actually. Yeah, for, you know, a fee. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good service to the community. Right. Um, you know, there's not a ton of people here, so you pick stuff up here and right. there. It's not like a big city where you're mm -mm. just flooded with work. Nope. But he's building this small engine repair up and... Yep, and then he's teaching Harley how to do some stuff. Yep, and yeah, he's teaching his Harley and, and his brothers and sister, and I'm learning stuff. And, and then Lily. Lily, are you learning stuff from Brady or not? Not, not really. Could you add more chocolate chips in the brownies, Mom? I can. Is that your request? <laughs> yeah. I got it. <clears throat> You're such a good helper. And, you know, <clears throat> we got our track, you know, what are those tracks uh, video out? Our mysterious tracks. So hopefully someone can help us know what those were. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure you've worked up an appetite following the tracks with me today. Well, and a yeah. bunch of other stuff, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, Mom... I, want, I wanted to let you know. Um, what's, that, what's that joke? Oh, okay, what's that? Razor blades? No, no, like the fuel export professional or something like that. Petroleum transfer. Yeah, petroleum oh. transfer expert.
Yeah, that's what Brady. Petroleum did. transfer expert. Yeah. yeah, that's what this guy is. <laughs> <laughs> Petroleum transfer expert. Yes. Yep. Okay, so we picked up these both these skidoos in Wasilla. Or uh, excuse me, excuse me. We picked up both these skidoos in Willow. Mm -hmm. And oh. about an hour and change. Mm -hmm. We had that one going, running right. great. <laughs> uh, clean the carbs on it. Right. Um, uh, he got a few other things to it. The room's good. He took it for a ride. That's now he's crazy. working on its twin. Okay, let me pan over to get the twin. Yeah. I got and the twin. We can, he can get that going. Right, right. Hold on, Dad. I'm just no, going to... Like like so this is the twin of that oh, it's, machine it's, there, and he's working on this now. No, it just throws some wires on it. Ah, okay. That makes sense. Yep. Yeah. All right, what else, son? Hopefully we get those two returned on Friday. Right. Yeah, and exactly. Here. Huh? Hopefully oh, yeah. We go back this weekend sometime. Right, the lot's getting chucked full of his uh, projects. Well, I'll get them out of here. Which is good. And then that generator needs to go back. <clears throat> yeah, and then he's got generators and... He's got all yeah. sorts of stuff coming in. We'll get Morgan's snow machine up here. Right. Get that one fixed. Right. Um, all right. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get in and get those brownies going. Okay, Mom. Love okay. You. Okay. Well worth oh, it. they'll do everything. Because the last two or three things you've needed a compression tester. <clears throat> all right. The next day here, and we have a tractor here on the flooring here Woohoo! so what's going on here well we built a little platform out of some insulated panels we have nice. laying around <clears throat> we drove the tractor up on it right we get uh, the ramps it's in nice it only works in two-wheel drive so mm -hmm. we're trying to figure out what's going on with the four-wheel drive right and right now we're going to take this drive line Cover. Let me see. Right here. This drive line cover. Oh. Off. And see, I can tell right now it's something's not going on right with it. Right. Uh, the the drive line inside mm -hmm. makes this jump around mm. when it. Yeah. So we're 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 in the process of taking seeing apart, what's going huh? on. That fits perfect. And uh, we wanted to build a little platform here. Out of these insulated panels, so mm. it just keeps us off the ground. Yeah, that's and nice. It keeps actually you off the snow. keeps you off the snow, yeah, oh, for, for sure. sure. That's good. So, so next, your <clears throat> next step is to kind of take stuff apart and see what's inside. Is that the next step? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll slide this cover. See, you, you unbolt it here mm -hmm. and right here. And then you undo these, Ooh. right? I'll get a heat gun or something and warm that up. But uh, right. And then these slide together. And then you, you can inspect to see what's going see on what's here. See what's going on. You're going to need a light here soon. Jeez. Yeah. So this is the first step to investigating what is going on with the tractor four-wheel drive. Because we need it to be working, like, oh, yeah. very soon. <laughs> There's this guy in town that we met. He's super cool. Super cool. Uh -huh. Great guy. Been here 40 something years. Named, uh, name is Don. Right. Super knowledgeable. Great. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Don. Yeah, he uh, he's kind of walking me through, teaching or telling me what to do. Uh -huh. And so uh, he might come out. Right. I'll get it as far okay. as I can, and then he might come out and help me with the rest. Right. At least fight and figure out what's going on with it. Mm-hmm. Very cool. But, yeah. No, this is a great idea. We have these insulated panels anyway, so it's just a quick thing to throw up to start figuring out diagnosing this tractor. It's been 24 years we've had this almost. Right. Since Jeff and I have actually probably been together, because Jeff and I have been together... What, 24 years, 25 years, 26 years? 
it's getting time where very soon we need to keep dropping trees and pulling them and processing them to meet our clearing requirements. And the only thing <clears throat> that pulls them and, and kind of does the logging for us is this tractor. That's what we've got. And it is not working now, so we got to get it to work. So that's where we're at. So we will keep you guys posted and we're going to go in and I'm going to make some cookies. We had a family debate, cookies versus brownies, and tonight cookies won. So I am going to go in and make some <laughs> cookies. I cookies, dessert. you get more cookies. You only get one brownie. That's true. You know, I, I like several cookies, you know. Right, with our cold milk. So it's getting to be about probably 7.30, sun's going down. <clears throat> We're going to go inside and wrap it up for the night. We'll see you guys on the next video. Good night. Good night. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay.